Dr. Milan Bergnitz, uh, the speaker of 
like that those states not directly affected somehow lack also a kind of the sense of
uh, responsive learning behavior. Uh, so, so India's experience is more or less connected with the Western environment too. So India was affected mostly as a young son. We know that we received or over our territory went half a million. The population of two million and a half a million to process. It was very hard. It was we met somehow with the help of civil protection, military uh, organizations, police, uh, army. So uh, for years, all those have been. And uh, we, I'm, I'm proud just on one thing in the spectrum. No one actually uh, died from our intervention. And no one has profited out of the nature. These two goals have been achieved, but on other on, on all the other issues uh, we can discuss how how uh, to better manage uh, those goals, uh, and we have been put in a uh, position. So basic background to the Western Balkan route uh, for from which uh, also important, we have 2015, you know, more than 1 million, almost 1 million people crossed from Turkey to Greek and then. Uh, situation is still greater now, we have just uh, uncertainty is the EU Turkey agreement, with all of those issues connected to that. There cannot be assumptions more than that's a temporary solution, but a solution. If we did all over the European borders, this would never be done, actually. Which is important for us. The most important thing was uh, just uh, of Hungary, at least for us, because the closer to Hungarian borders, uh, the closer to Slovenia, and we had to end somehow this close. We had at that time a uh, problem with uh, cooperation. More with the South, in the Croatia, than actually Austria at that time. The border was at the end of the day closed. On one side, one can say, uh, yeah, domino effect, if you like. When one border is closed, then all the border is going down. On the other side, also, that we have of uh, or willingness, Macedonia to actually close the border. And this wasn't uh, very, uh, I'd say, very pleasant, but at the end of the day, probably sort of some of the conflicts which will happen in the Western Balkans. Uh, different states where such an issue like migration and closure uh, need not conflicts. Uh, so, with the help of all, let's say we, we, we manage the situation. Now, I have two pieces uh, in respect of this management. And what was the lesson learned? First, was that for a lack of a common and coordinated approach to the crisis in the region led to unilateral and restrictive measures by individual states, only option they had. It was the, the question of measures. Somehow those measures can be interconnected because the measures of one state actually open uh, you know, uh, the question for another. Uh, everyone actually looked for themselves and what in such a situation uh, Slovenia was also forced to use its own measures. We have, we have amended uh, the law of defense. So, the defense, the, the army to be used for border control, which is normally done by police. We have done this with the change of the law, which was challenged by, by, by the old constitution, of course, but it, our constitution according to the judgment of our constitution as well. But nevertheless, we had the problem with the lack of personnel to deal with all our borders. Uh, in our case, even it was 
possible for him to, to really so-called technical barriers, uh, meaning taxes, uh, uh, to, to, to build them because our border in Croatia is so long. It's uh, 100 uh, kilometers long, and at the end of the day, we have, let's say, 170 kilometers uh, or normal. It's not normal to, to, to, to actually build any kind of walls, but nevertheless, we, of course, it happened also for us that actually uh, the, the border to Austria is in many sense closed. So this rebuilding would be the shame that is not uh, so interesting. We have, which has been done, is setting up technical barriers on the border with Croatia. 170 is to work. 160 or something like that. That's so long altogether. Why? Because the cooperation with the previous cooperation government was completely insufficient and we had to do different to have them discuss the issue because without the cooperation uh, from all of the board in the bottom part, it was impossible also to do disclosure. And disclosure was the final result. Why we use it? Also, there was two explanations. One is to prevent spillover of irregular migration, spillover wherever on the green border, regular crossings. Because somehow to gather them, without gathering them, there, you cannot have those controls and policies. At that time, we had the first experience which was probably also important. In approach in general to such issues is but at that time when the first connection with those coming, uh, we find out that uh, that those who actually need help doesn't want to help. And this is a general problem with humanitarian approach. Because they would like to go in a particular state and not to stay where someone is willing to give them help. We then to get a totally different approach to what was what we experienced historically. When we had uh, refugees after the US numbers, let's say 70,000 in the territory, was no problem with that. No, uh, let's say, additional uh, security forces, no additional uh, uh, yeah. even the premises, or we haven't had discussion about if something like that is prisoning population, have social ties within the society. So we can do it even without having any kind of special law on immigration or something like that. It was possible to, to manage those things. When you have someone not willing to be helped, then you have to protect even those who you are willing to be helped. You, you are in a totally different situation. The lack of uh, capabilities and lack of experience to that is part of it. So, uh, with the same, such setting of technical barriers that we have to was actually also have have an inside opinion. Uh, still, some some borders remain uh, partially closed. You know, they are according to area. Uh, I'm wondering for how long after <coughs> have been closed. At least by then, it have been closed. For for the rest. Uh, still, some of the member states uh, do and justify their unilateral measures before the EU uh, institutions and in particular the Commission. This is the third thing which, had, which also happened in Slovenia was the amending asylum legislation to law on international protection. Uh, it was proposed by the government, but at that time it was a question if uh, it's the simplest way 
I will still be part of asylum regime internationally, or we are excluded from the asylum regime. And finally, the Parliament adopted a solution whereby, which is according to our constitution, according to international treaties, which are valid, that Slovenia have the opportunity to have all those protection, that they have all those values which are needed in the asylum uh, procedures. Uh, this, this doesn't mean that, that they, they will really receive status. With the asylum procedure, uh, they have uh, protection which is, uh, which is needed, and this is how. Uh, generally, the question was, was on the side. Some argued that we have to move to the Schengen 4, if you know what is Schengen 4. Schengen, Schengen 3 is the country is responsible for all the Western regions. We assume that the entire Schengen area, Dublin 4, not Dublin 3 and Dublin 4. Dublin 4 would mean the entire Schengen area is in one state or less, and that we can remove them wherever we want. And we are not in such such a situation. And it will also means that in Slovenian territory you cannot just come to Slovenia because Schengen starts in this, not such kind of discussions happen at that time. And with that we get totally polarized uh, public and political discourse on the issue. It was just a question of security. On the other side, it was a question of human rights. And you know, when you are speaking about human rights in connection with asylum, you know that you have to allow and have some protection of human rights because those things are universal. You know, you cannot, at, at least according to our constitution, you cannot behave as you, that you have forgot about the constitution when you speak about this is also part. So all those measures have been taken in Slovenia because it has been forced to do it. Who is the question of timing? Who is blamed of the opposition? One part of the opposition, the other part of the opposition that we are, you know, never, that we are trying to do. In between, because we have, uh, let's say, right things come from total left, if you like, which are, which are for total openness and just uh, uh, willingness to receive whatever is, is coming and from whatever they are coming. So, Slovenia was constantly striving for more systematic regional cooperation to achieve that only by the help of. Uh, of, uh, let's say uploading that question from the Brussels level, it was impossible. But at the beginning, the, there was no willingness to discuss even at the time of one issue of the opinion of the question of migration. There was no way on, on, on that agenda, even not to put on the agenda, but the agenda setting was a problem. Yeah, there is a lot of things where. Uh, so, Slovenia was also forced to implement unilateral respective measures. At the end of the day, we, we have been part of this domino effect and using everything that you can explain somehow how uh, it was possible actually to close the. The second thesis, and some lessons learned, is what's that? This is to go that way. Mass migration is a complex problem that calls for the involvement of multiple actors is within states as well as between states. Migration is too big for each state, even for the Germans to do something together. It's, it's, it was, uh, yeah, uh, it, it's unprecedented in respect of. Uh, other crises uh, we have uh, so far. Within states, 
tell them that it's their need of cooperation of those of all agencies possible and also with the civil society, non governmental organizations, everyone. We need to have planning in advance, planning of different issues and not just you know, those who's been involved with. You know, our plans at the beginning of the crisis that our upper number was, let's say, 1,000 per day. At the peak of the uh, migration, 50,000 numbers. The stock reported that this number 1,000. But you know, this was a crazy situation. So the management in terms of most of the power operation not being on the route, uh, functioning without that, without have, having some, let's say, uh, yeah, uh, rising in dire state, operating normally, yeah, it was a, a kind of success in this, in this, in this respect, I would, I would say. But it wasn't, uh, yeah. Like to, to sustain this as a system, because around that you cannot do it. You know, even using the monetarians, you cannot do this as a systematic way of solving the issue, because you know you need monetarian when there is some natural or man-made, which is which is around, and which is important within the state. The other is the State actors may, may, may specialize knowledge and expert support. Um, and those who know how to deal with that need proper authority. This is all again you know, how to provide space for them. And we have some problems uh, with, uh, with, let's say, some external deployment of humanitarians uh, or external involvement of some volunteers to have the mass of a couple of thousand people with something like that. You're, you're doing chaos in that way. So if you don't have enough resources to serve everyone, then better not to come. This misunderstanding. There was a lot of people who would like to help, but you have to have a proper system that this can is fruitful for the mass otherwise uh, we have really really really a problem. Of international community there is also some uh, some uh, first of all that this goes even before even below or beyond national European uh, it goes on the international life of some specialist agencies or issue specific international organizations like UN, JAR, or International Organization for Migration, uh, even OEC. So, why not using those international bodies within such a, such a crisis? Because it can help you, or, or at least it can show you where you stand in respect of some minimum standards which has been. Uh, for you on, on, on the issue. Now, I have also two pieces uh, regarding the common European response after the decline of the Western Balkan group. Respect, it goes that way. To deal with the immigration crisis systematically has caused profound differences of opinions in respect of the refugees. And some even can, one can argue also about the future of European Union. In this fact, of the migrant crisis, we have different approaches, different uh, views from the different states. Um, so we are all speaking about a common and coordinated European approach to this crisis. We have to have something like safe, humanitarian, and effective with the immigration policy. Uh, where we should manage migration, at the same time, reserve fundamental new freedoms, uh, and 
constructive bilateral relations with it among member states of the European Union, or at least with the protection of human rights. Those again. Whatever. On one side, we have the agreement with Turkey, which is, you know, which works equally soon what will happen with that. Uh, it was very hard even to put the put disagreement within the international legal standards which are required for such an agreement. Because, you know, uh, yeah, uh, for basic asylum requirement is actually that is individual people. You cannot do this mess. When you have such a inflow, it's hard to, to, to make this person on each case separately and with uh, proper uh, also legal protection if there is a need. Uh, one of the things which is important, as I said before, this solution with Turkey can be just temporary, and we have to replace it with something more so for uh, long term. It can be just, you know, now we need some time to rebuild something, to do that. But the question is that the lack of uh, will, political will, will to, to do something together on this. We have a huge division among EU member states, but I believe that. Uh, what Turkey is doing on the migration issue should be separated with their accession things or issues connected with accession. Otherwise, we, we have to dissociate these two, otherwise, uh, things can become just worse. And uh, for doing something together, we have within the EU Cyprus, issue, like the division of Cyprus is not describe what is preventing to, to, to do something more. So I see that there is a need actually to dissociate these two things. Um, now the European Union or the European Commission uh, provided the the uh, reform of the common European asylum system is really going in the direction of Dublin Core, and of course, states are uh, they're against of the, let's say, burden check. At least some of the states are against the burden check. Uh, the solidarity in on this case is. Uh, yeah, one cannot imagine how we will go in this direction uh, using the plan we have used so far. Uh, in respect to Slovenia, I would say that way that because other member states were against generous with that, we will not uh, stick on that, but we will try to become solidarity with all others. So we will be part of this. Or system, whatever it is called. Uh, at the beginning, also our approach was more connected with, uh, uh, yeah, not to be obliged to, to the quotas, but they did. But uh, after that, what is changed? That I mean, to, to stick to the some some common approach. Common approach is this focus. This is definitely uh, not enough, and I see uh, the problem is uh, um, particular point. Quotas can can work if we have standards of integration in all member states. Standards of what integration requires, what kind of rights, what kinds of conditions it can, should provide to, to those great plus what can happen, people will come on your territory then 
the, uh, the, then they will disappear. This is where is their you know, final destination. Uh, against, and, and you can do practically nothing to prevent them from doing that. In framework of rights, you cannot jail people coming from you know, looking for a sign of being part of the procedure. You cannot make it. Moving around. And then you have to do the So, to go into the direction of integration. Uh, without that, this, this, and this is, in my view, this, this is the only way. The only way I can see at the moment that addresses the, the, the basic, uh, you know, and that's it. That you cannot have someone who doesn't want to do that. You have a problem. Uh, otherwise, uh, whatever is the process, really. Uh, now, we can, yeah. On this proposal, W4, going to the election of W4 is, is strong opposition, and I cannot see how those things. Uh, uh, but definitely, this can be connected also with the uh, understanding uh, if we need more or if we need less Europe uh, in general. Uh, so it's, not, it's not connected necessarily with, with Brexit, but it's much more connected with how the issue. One thing where we can all agree is that we need more to move on how common that we can do less. Jointly, that it can be uh, that the European institutions can be also involved in, in providing the help of the voters. This is okay. Then, still, uh, this reset that we need uh, is necessary, otherwise, the voter sharing among member states will be really totally different. Uh, so, yeah. This is the uh, so linea is you will ask us if, you know, for which one we are mostly we will then go uh, uh, further steps in integration, further steps in integration means also that we are willing for also in this relocation to do some uh, some Criteria which are which are used for this uh, relocation. This actually will not help us in the long run. In the long run, we need common policy of integration. And the second, uh, uh, the second sets of uh, problems which are connected with unions is okay. I will I will finish up. Uh, Problems I would like to just open, just to have it on, on, on, on the table before asking different questions. One is that uh, what happened with the energy and conversion crisis is undermining the European values. Like, uh, uh, at least the opposition has been against those things. Another thing which has to be uh, put into the... Uh, I, I see that there is no opposition between both Those things are complementary. Those, this, this is no other In the long run, we cannot move with the issue. Is that we have a problem with all those issues because with the introduction of migration, with the securitization of migration and refugee issues, we are 
getting started for wrong places which can be used politically or whatever. Uh, the populism, extremism. And one of the things which is very important here is necessary correlation or even better causal connection between immigration on one side and terrorism on the other. Most of the people coming to Europe are fleeing from those who are doing terrorism. And you know, we sometimes these two things are very easily uh, interchanged and misused for various internal, but mostly internal. And those things are changing also the nature of politics within the United States. I'm just observing what is going on in our neighborhood. A lot of things actually has uh, changed from the beginning of the crisis. And I, I think that those changes, at least uh, in the internal politics of the member states, will be more permanent. Really, at this, at, at this time, we should disappoint them now and open for questions. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ambassador. Thank you, Your Excellency, Mr. Speaker. Uh, obviously, the, the interest uh, in the experience of Slovenia uh, is uh, great. Uh, I would uh, further like one keyword which you mentioned, which I think is the secret to dealing with uh, uh, this problem. Mr. Uh, Speaker, you said planning in advance. This is the key to solving the problems of uh, such a magnitude planning in advance, and this is the thing that we uh, mostly lack on, uh, uh, in our thinking, European thinking. Not a surprise that we have so many ambassadors from European countries and neighboring countries uh, here today. Uh, but obviously, the experience of uh, Slovenia is so uh, interesting and attractive, as we heard from uh, our speaker today, that uh, we had uh, in this room of Algeria, of Iraq, of uh, Sudan, and of Brazil. And uh, I would like to very warmly welcome all those uh, from all over the world. We had uh, here also the newly appointed director of Common Town and our Stiftung in Bulgaria, Thorsten Geisler. Most welcome, Mr. Geisler. We have a nice mandate in Bulgaria. We are broadcasting uh, this event on Twitter uh, on the right hand side, uh, on Google Plus, Plus Streaming, and on Periscope on the left hand side. So we have the two. Few points on it, and uh, I very much encourage you to tweet now uh, from here. And uh, with this couple of words, uh, uh, I will I would like to open the floor for questions or short statements, very short statements. Questions. The Специално Серия генетически бассейн се превръща в атлантически бассейн в Петакто, при всички изкъдни и каляшки генетически море, вече са един член на НАТО, който не става едно малко по-голямо пропорции на неверно до действия. Имат ли думата на въпроси? Разбира се, има и още една тема, която много близко обединява Словения и България, че много близко обединява. Това е, че и Словения, и България пишат в момента следващия генерален секретар на ООН е Еврокистична Европа. Така че тази особено обединителна черта, мисля, че трябва да бъде причертавана. Така, една 
Тук да кажа, че тук, тоя тук е трето тук, като това не знае, че сте за то камера в тази, за това е тук в тази. Добре, Мач. Кои са първите сами джурнали са от Нюсейтова си джинис? My question is, what is your assessment for the role of the Macedonia for currently closing migrant routes through Western? Uh, Western Balkan, and uh, uh, would uh, Slovenia not uh, the candidates of Macedonia for EU and for NATO? Never mind, my question is for Macedonia. Втори въпрос имаше пред вас, за това ли е? Да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, да, current migrant crisis and the current migrants we have here in Europe. What has been done to solve the root of the problem? I noticed there are some ambassadors here who represent countries where the migrants are coming from. Europe doing to solve the issue of the source and the root of the problem, uh, mainly coming from, of course, Syria, Iraq, and North Africa. And what has been done with the security issue to control future migrants crossing over the seas and the borders? Thank you. Кръстонира Пайчева. Моя въпрос е, защото на сега ще сте променили закона, но закон е готова в парламента на Словения и този закон охраща съпечниците до Венесвата. Не казах ли една част от тях получава, че тук е женец, а други само правна защита. Това означава това, какво се изразява тази правна защита с Женевската конвенция и още нещо. Аз съм много си разбира, че в цяло е и предпочитала тая Женевската конвенция, но там на член 2А пише. Отръщава, независимо от това, че тогава, когато имало световна война, обманени са на отръщани, които няма световна война, Вече от 
Peki şimdi işte ona istemediğine baktığınız için kim dediysen doğru. Kırık basıyor, o kadar dedi. İnsanın sinsizliği, komünizmin kapitalizmi, o ne anlayıp, ne doğrudur bu prevenistin, ne doğrudur bu prevenistin, ne doğrudur bu prevenistin, ne doğrudur bu prevenistin, ne Ženci tři lidí, na kterých tu republika Bulgarie tu vítězství nesl předůstavili právní předešti, no držela agentce za ženci tři nepoločení potvrzení potřeba. I v tom roce zrobili jsme model za všechny držela v Evropské sjezd, který předůstavil předávání předešti při ženských statutů na opravdění lidí, které kdykoli se technicky pravdě technicky zadalo. Но това нещо пак казва да не получи за конкретно от държавната агенция за държавната агенция за държавната агенция. Но не е, че хора не е от държавната агенция за държавната агенция, но не е, че получи от държавната агенция. Благодаря за това. Благодаря за това. Благодаря за това. Благодаря за това. Благодаря за това. Благодаря за това. Благодаря за това. Благодаря за това. Благодаря за това. Благодаря за това. Благодаря за това. Uh...Uh...Uh...Uh...Uh...Uh...Uh...Uh...Uh...Uh...Uh...Uh...Uh...Uh...Uh...Uh...Uh...Uh...Uh...Uh...Uh...Uh...Uh...Uh...Uh...
what is the success of the virus in a particular situation and what is not. There are good causes. Uh, I totally agree with you that there has not been that enough actually of the good causes, but in, in generally one of those things which is important, uh, at least in long lasting perspective, is development assistance where the EU was always proud of itself to do that. Giving more, more in this direction, there is no way actually to let those willing to come to Europe uh, at home. So otherwise, you know, this is the general gap on one of these other things, which is which has to do with the stop of wars around us. Yeah, this is part of the European possibility. We can do something with others. But on the other side, for those measures which can be taken, uh, let's say, uh, Africa, in particular, uh, they are connected with development assistance. Uh, Europe has always done most of those things, and they have to be, let's see, it is great. We don't like to have those refugees in Europe, but if all those things are happening, some refugee flows. Cannot go against the you know, Some of those are normal. And when those uh, you know, flows are really uh, huge, and uh, you are incapable of actually everything which is necessary according to European standards to deal with those conflicts on those borders. And what I found out uh, at that time when Slovenia was under this pressure, okay, half of those coming over Slovenia really was, should claim to be refugee, the rest of the migrants. But they have to prove, you know, the doors of those coming from Kosovo joined, but a lot of those joined. When the, the particular task has been over, have uh, those tasks much more in both of them. This is one of the one, one of the we really have to have and really to have those who we have. Just you know, it's normal. We cannot do that. We are not Europe anymore. Losing the, the, this part of our history. Our history is still humanistic. And deeper, but basically, either we are thinking about religion or we are thinking based in terms of humanism. Is behind. So, yes, I, I, I see the, the, the, the, the possibility. Huh. Uh, when we had the new law in Slovenia in respect of uh, international protection or asylum, like at uh, which one side went in that direction that according to that law, none will come in Slovenia anymore. Otherwise, that we have to remain part of the international asylum regime. Only in the second part of our constitution is according to let's say, requirements which are within Geneva Conventions within the European Convention of Human Rights. The longer term, someone will find out that we have the problem on that issue. And Slovenia has on some of those systematic things, also in connection with human rights, in the past, some mistakes have been done. We are now in the position of Politically, we have now to uh, repay them. Respecting yeah. the, uh, all the judgment, at least, of the European Court of Human Rights in this direction, there is always a good agreement in Slovenia, never to think legally that we are not really to do that. The European General in advance, like we said, they always will be to do that. I think that uh, our system in this respect doesn't really repeat the two. And what is allowing is actually allowing 
future. What is the result of the result? It is another thing. Refugee, in the status of refugee, or you can get subsidized uh, protection. Subsidy protection means that you cannot return someone back. As long the conditions are not ready to say that people come back. Uh, yeah, these are two normal things, but when I have, when I, I needed to explain that to Slovenian public, I would say very simple. Even let's say more than 20 students citizens has the status of student subsidiary refugee abroad. The system allows, according to subjective and objective criteria, that someone is open in the procedure if it be he or she is able to convince judiciary authority that this is right, then he will get the status. Nothing is wrong. I, I, I don't believe that they will be guilty if they will be recovered from hands. But they get it. The system works that way that someone has the right to ask for. Now, what is the final outcome is another thing. To, to open the procedure, every state is obligatory, no? they have obligation to open the procedure. And this is also according to Slovenian law, and this is, doesn't make really the differentiation between two types of uh, refugee and okay at the beginning no one is recognized as uh, you have no criteria to, to say in advance of the procedure I am only someone is not or even either economic migrant or some is refugee the procedure and the procedure can be done and has to do something also with legal authority, at least on the, on the second stage. You have to have a court at the end of the day. This is right or this is wrong. Now, uh, the change of the Slovenian law went uh, in that direction. Uh, yeah, I also believe that whatever uh, that we need, something more on, on common integration uh, models, if you like. As I said before, we have to do something more and I would say that the solution will need to do that. I know that, for instance, Germany is now accepting the law of integration and they have been the problem within themselves. Lenders, even things on one side and then you have some general, uh, general law at the federal level. But still, if each state will accept its own law, then again we will have a problem. We need to act now before this integration will start. And uh, in respect of the, this joint statement of Hungary, as, as I said before, I'm, I'm also, uh, I have to thank you to say that we are very thankful also to Hungary to help us at our border. The need to close it. And, but we are also happy that now this is not really the. We are stopping those because it was impossible to do on the Slovenian side. It was much easier in Macedonia. In addition to that, absolutely supporting that we have to help more the frontline uh, states. And as far as Slovenia is concerned, we are helping both. Greece uh, and to have both because we know that there is the problem on, in both countries and argue that we are not doing enough. This additional question then. Firstly, we have to at least have a will to, to do something on, on, on those issues. And we has been given, let's say, just symbolically part also of a previous path to Europe. Let's say we have. Uh, have even Italy on Friday symbolically uh, as interview when only Italy was faced with migration crisis. And previously, none actually noticed that in Spain, more or less the same. But it is much easier when the entry state is pretty to somehow accommodate. It's much easier than uh, for others to uh, pretend that this is not their issue. 
But now we know that this is the European issue that, and that we have to do something. And if nothing else we can do, at least we can strengthen or more unify uh, the, the, the border protection. I know that at least those parts of the issue is more appropriate for resolving. Most of the member states of the region, and I hope that at least some people will be done. But I know that there is much more diverse opinion on the internal redistribution of the money. There is the, I think that we need both, otherwise, uh, we will not be closer to the more sustainable solution. But to have a sustainable solution, also the idea how to integrate those people, and historically speaking, Neither Germany nor France are not good models of integration. I think that I, I try to answer. Okay. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Thank you very much. Uh, obviously, the interest in the speaker, the topic, and the country. So we should be happy to organize uh, the next event, uh, either with you or, the, or with your embassy. Uh, or with uh, your consul general in this country, or with all your friends which you have in this uh, room. Uh, the embassy of uh, Slovenia in Budapest, who is now your partner in this event. Of Bulgaria, which has uh, uh, been created uh, in the Atlantic Digital Web on the occasion of this 25th anniversary. I would like to warmly thank our speaker and, uh, of course, uh, of course, uh, the full uh, country support, supported us, Studio Modena. Thank you very much, guys. And uh, special regards to Sandy Cesco, your uh, uh, impressive talk up there in, uh, in Slovenia. I'd like to all invite all of you to uh, say thank you to our speaker and uh, uh, express the uh, hope to host him again uh, in the uh, Soviet future. Thank you.